Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'll show you uh, the topic of item level permission for lists. So the the idea is that uh, uh, it is possible to define uh, what items will the user see and what items can he edit. So if we go to a list, and if I go to the gear and I go to the list settings and I go to advanced settings now I will see item level permissions now I can define what type of uh, reading access can they can every user uh, read all items or can he see read only those that he created and in addition we can define uh, if he can edit or create items, any item, or once he has created. So um, let's demonstrate it. I have two users. One will be an owner, and one will have uh, be only a member. Um, if you want to be able to overrule all of this, you must have at least uh, an owner or or a design. Uh, permission level uh, or higher um, so let's see how it works so currently um, everyone can read and change but what happens if um, I define that only I, uh, the users can um, read what they created so I'll, I'll save this And uh, I will go to another user and sorry, I will create uh, in, in my user here an item and then I will go to another user. And uh, what I expect is that only that he would not see my item. So this is the item. I'll go to the other user and I will refresh and he doesn't see anything. This is without creating any view. So let me try with the other user to enter something. He will enter. Okay, he sees only his own. Now the other user is actually an owner so he will see both items. So <coughs> this user is an owner, so he can see everything. And the other user, because we said that only users can see only what they created, sees only itself. So you don't need to create a, a me uh, view with a filter. Um, let's go and change the setting um, again this settings, advanced settings, and now let's say um, the user will be able to create or edit only the items he <coughs> he created. Let's save this. And uh, okay, but I want in this time that the users will be able to read a anything but only change what they uh, have created. So this user now should see everything because I did not limit it. But <coughs> let's just add the created by. So so the user created uh, this item. If he tries to to edit an item that he did not create, he will get a message. Let's see. Oops, sorry, he don't have access. So before users, before you set it, um, you need to tell the users how it works because if they try to do that, they'll get an error and then it will be hard uh, to understand how it works. So the message is that item le level permission is a very good tool if you want uh, users to see only their items and ed edit only the items that they have created. 
it would be better to show a message actually that says um, sorry you don't have uh, permissions for that uh, but this is how it is so thank you and have a good day goodbye